So this is uh, Greg and Mike. We're here at the uh, the 2012 MUM looking at the Cloud Core router. They've got one sitting on a, a table and we're connected from the uh, the cafeteria. So uh, it might take a little bit of time for us to load up the different screens. But this is it running, looks like, 6 RC1, which they just dropped last week. I think late last week. So uh, let's see. they got the resources menu pulled up. You can see... The Tile X or the Tile GX 36 core count. Each core's got a uh, 1.2 gigahertz processor. This one, it's not doing anything. It just has this, like an AP plugged into it with an Ethernet interface hooked up. So it's not actually running any load. So you got the zero. They were also saying that something I hadn't heard before this morning is they said that uh, these guys come loaded with two gigs of RAM, but there is no more RAM limitation. In yeah, uh, yeah. The I heard that they, yeah, they they took that out, so I don't know if there's a box you can open up and put more DIMMs in it. Or I remember the uh, what is it the um, what was it the the original RB1000 I think had slots you could swap out the RAM. I don't know, I can't remember if the the 1100s do or not, but this guy evidently does. Um, I was thinking that limitation was a software limitation, so I guess in version six when they up to the new Linux kernel, or whatever they must have fixed that. That uh, I could be mistaken, but I think in some of the older like the older hardware. They may have had both because I think they, at one point, software they took that away. Uh, Maybe not. Well, I mean, also like on x86, like I think two gigs was all I could really take advantage of, from what I understand. So anyway, it looks like it's a definite improvement there. Uh, as far as any new information, that's kind of all I've really heard. Yeah, it, uh, well, I mean, this is what their their tenth mum this year. How much more can they say that they haven't said in the past three weeks? Right. Well, I just meant on this product. <laughs> Uh, specifically, I mean, they could give us a few more details. I know they do have the speed touch running over there, and I'll probably post some pictures up or whatever of that. But uh, that's ridiculous. Look at all that. Yeah, you have all the 36 CPUs showing up there. Yeah, I'm still gonna ask them uh, a couple of questions I have about this thing. Like, is each the in and out of each interface? Does it get its own CPU? And and if it does, what is it? There's 10, 12, 13, 14 interfaces, right? On this thing. Uh. I think it's ten, 10 copper and then 4 SFP. I think it was 12 and 4. 12 and 4, so 16. But, but, oh, okay, 16, maybe. 16, that's 32. There's 32 cores on this, so... Or no, there's actually 36, which means I guess the OS shares the last four cores or whatever. Yeah, that's the case. Yeah, yeah. That's not... I mean, that's, that's a lot of horsepower still left. And that's I, not more cores than my uh, RB1200 running. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the... Uh, uh, I think this the, this new Tilex or Tilera uh, process. They're supposed to have hardware specific offload for like uh, IPsec encryption. So I mean that's going to help out CPU resources. So I really I want to see. I just don't want I don't want to see just a speed test company. I want to see what's it going to do with like some tunnels and yeah, like you know yeah. put some put some queues in there, put yeah. some firewall rules yeah. in there. Yeah, I want to see the processor take a hit and see how it performs. So let's see. I guess I don't even know what to look around right on this thing interfaces. Yeah, there's a 14. Yeah, they got 12 and then 4. Yeah. I wonder... Uh, these aren't going to be switching ASICs built into these things. So none of that functionality should be there. Right, yeah. yeah cause each each, uh, each interface is its own pipe into the CPU. Yeah. Which I was kind of worried about that. Uh, I asked them about 10 gig and they said that they're working on something for that. But if you're putting each each of those on its own like pipe into the CPU, will that... Will that core now be able to handle 10 gigs? I remember looking at some of the designs for the Tyler cores. I don't know which specific one they're using now, but uh, it uh, some of the different models had like X number of uh, 10 gig uh, pipes back in, and then I guess maybe they have just like one of these. It's like a 10 gigs, 10 gig pipe, and they're just divvying that up between. I don't know how they're doing. It. That's all magic to me on the back end. It's magic. It is. No. So technically this is the cloud core, but I can't really make any changes or I don't even know I mean it's what's uh, interesting to even look at on this thing at this point. Multi CPU <laughs> Will it actually let me make changes? Turn off it turn off multi CPU, see what happens. Oh can't can't even try to work not for me. How clever of them not to allow me to do that. Um, but um can you change firewall rules and things like that? I don't, I don't know if they're going to let us do jack on this thing. I wouldn't let me do anything. 
I wouldn't. I won't do anything. Nah, everything's no, great. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess just view only. As we can't, we can't put through this pacing. We can't uh, set some fire rules to see how it impacts the yeah. view performance. So really, this is just an excuse for people to listen to us talk about nothing. Yeah, yeah, because you can't, you can't really do anything. <laughs> I guess if you haven't seen version um, at the six O R C one, you know, you've got the opportunity. At to. Uh, all you can really do is do a speed test and see how it changes stuff. I guess that's all you can really do. Yeah. One thing um, that JJ was pointing out is on the the oh, new oh, version yeah, six. You got, you can throw in a little bit of extra stuff, time and date. Router's been disconnected. Oh, now you can't do anything. Yeah, no, it doesn't really matter because it wasn't a whole lot.